Welcome LEGO fans! I am the Austrian LEGO fan from Carinthia in Austria and I've got the new Millennium Falcon. One of a couple of sets that are released in October 2019 for the new Star Wars film The Rise of Skywalker. We get 1351 pieces, 7 figures, Six one are huge and one is a small one for one hundred and fifty dollars. We had several Millennium Falcons in the past in same size as this, and one change we see on first look on the back page of the box is that there are not so many flippable parts to open the interior. I think this solution is better than the older ones, but let us take a look what we've got in this set. Instructions. Stickers. Two hundred and sixty-seven pages. Three pages that are part lists. And four, nine, seven. Without number one, two, one, two, three, eight, ten. Ten numbered bags and two of this flexible tubes. Let's build.
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the build. And now the Millennium Falcon is completely put together. As I earlier said, we've got seven minifigs, seven figures. We've got Bulio, Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian, C-3PO, R2-D2, Finn and this little D.O. figure. Of course we can say that we've got five minifigs and two robots. Uh, C-3PO is a robot too, of course, but it's minifig style. The R2-D2 is... I could, doesn't count it as minifig. And this small one too. It's no minifig. It's a figure, but no minifigure. Okay. We've got several Millennium Falcons in the past in different sizes. The first one that is in a good size was from the year 2000. This was the set number 7190 and has 663 pieces. Then in the year 2004 we got a bit larger one with 985 pieces. That was set number 4504. And in the year 2009 we've got a mid medium scale Millennium Falcon without any figures with 356 pieces and then in the year 2011 we get the set 7965 and this one is nearly the same with this. The older set was dedicated to episode 4 A New Hope. Then we get in the year 2015, set number 75105, the Millennium Falcon to the Force Awakens movie, episode 7. And now we've got this. And in 2018, we had the white one, the Castle Run Millennium Falcon to the Han Solo movie. All of those four Millennium Falcons are nearly the same. They are in the same size. The piece count is doesn't uh, changing much. Set number 7965 from 2011 has 1,254 pieces. The Force Awakens one has 1,329. And this one has 1,351. And the Castle Run Millennium Falcon has 1,440 because he has in this section uh, uh, um, a thing that you can put away. But now let us take a closer look on this one. One huge difference to the others is the opening mechanism. The older ones have only so thin plates to open, then we have, I don't know, 10 pieces we must open, 10, 12, I don't know exactly. And here we have bigger ones to open and that makes it much faster to gain access to the interior. I find that's a cool idea because it's much easier, it is faster and we have not so much space between the several parts we can look inside. That's better, I, th I think. The other details are not many changes to the others. We have some seats, two beds, some technical equipment and so on. We have a cockpit we can place two mini fix in. We have a cannon on top and on the bottom. We have this 
smuggler compartment here where we can hide some goods and of course we have the ramp from down under that's nothing new we've got all this in the past on the other millennium falcons but i think that's not bad because I think a Millennium Falcon, the most iconic starship in the Star Wars universe, should be available all the time. And the older ones are no longer available. So it's a good idea to bring a new one on the market. But the Star Wars, Lego Star Wars collectors that had the other Millennium Falcons or only one of it uh, must not buy the new one because uh, there is no uh, huge difference to the under, to the other ones and you need only one Millennium Falcon in your collection to play with or something like that for I've forgotten one detail you can open this and we have there the parts to take out that's not new to the others had that too from the bottom we can't open it the legs on which the Millennium Falcon stands are not movable you can only put it away because they are mounted with Technic pins that's no problem and we've got two shooters. That's it. I think it's a cool set for play. It looks good in a shelf. So it is for collectors as for kids. The price with $150 or 160 euros in Europe is the same as with the other Millennium Falcons. It's not more expensive or cheaper than the others. In on this point, it's okay. So, what do you guys think about this set? Leave a comment, place a like or dislike. Subscribe my channel if you like the video. And we see us again in the next video. Bye!